Hey guys, John here, also known as Minecraft, and welcome back to another video where today we're going to be talking about something a little different than my normal repertoire. Now, as you know, I am a musician by trade, by, by many reasons I am a musician, so I thought, because I talk so much about the game's music, I thought, you know what, why not just make an entire video about Final Fantasy Record Keeper's soundtrack? Now, there are, there are two original soundtrack volumes on Spotify that you can listen to. You can also buy them on Amazon and whatnot. They're pretty pricey on Amazon, but um, you can listen to the full songs on, uh, on Spotify for free. I'll uh, link them in the description for you. Um, but I'm going to talk about the top five best songs that I like. Number five, Festival of the Hunt. Now, this is from Final Fantasy IX, and it's the Final Fantasy Record Keeper arrangement made by no more... Nobuo Uematsu. Now, I haven't actually played Final Fantasy IX, but I believe it was actually an MMORPG, which is kind of like an like those cliche online multiplayer um, RPGs. They're not usually that high in quality, but Final Fantasy decided to make its own, and I know nothing about it. There's only one character from it in um. There, there aren't very many characters that are well known from it. Uh, mostly Shantoto is the icon for um. For the game. Now, Festival of the Hunt I don't know much about. It's pretty good on the list because I like the music and I like the expression of it. It's nice and it, it feels like a festival. It sounds kind of like festival-esque and it also has a bit of like intensity too, which is the hunt part I suppose. So yeah, you could say it's pretty good. It's not like my all-time favorite. I'm only going off of ones that you can find on Spotify, so I'm afraid I can't do every single one. Number four, Balaam Garden, Final Fantasy VIII, Final Fantasy Record Keeper arra Arrangement. Yeah, can't speak. This song, I have not played Final Fantasy VIII for either, but it was a lot better graphic than um than Final Fantasy VII. Also, on a side tangent, it's freaking the same. Anyway, Final Fantasy VIII has has an amazingly calming soundtrack called Balaam Garden. Now, you're part of an organi organization called Seed, so there's the pun there, but... Basically, it's supposed to be somewhat of a safe haven for you as the player. It's somewhat of a moving fortress. Um, the arrangement of Balaam Garden is also made by Nobuo Uematsu. So, it's an extremely calming piece. I would highly recommend that you would listen to it on your own time, because it is quite, quite, quite exciting to listen to myself. It's not, ex it's not exactly upbeat or anything, it's just nice and calm, and if you need some some way to fall asleep, I would highly advise that song for it. Number three is Four Hearts Final Fantasy Record Keeper Arrangement from Final Fantasy V. Now you hear this one at the end of all my videos, and it's by Yuko Komiyama. Now it's obviously a remix, it's a reimagining of the original song from Final Fantasy V. Now the original had horrible instrumentation, despite the fact it came after Final Fantasy IV, which had amazing instrumentation by the way. But Basically, it kind of had a nice little epic feeling to it. Of course, there is another song on the li this list that that kind of gives the feel the feeling a bit better, and we're coming up to that in a sec. The second best song I would say is Eternal Wind Final Fantasy III Final Fantasy Record Keeper Version Arrangement by Nobuo Uematsu. This guy, nice. Now it has has a similar instrumentation as the as the remakes Final Fantasy 3 Eternal Wind had. However, it adds a little more of adventure to it, a little more bounce, a little more of we're on an epic journey and we're gonna beat all evil kind of feeling. And that's why I really like it, because it just is the right amount of, you can hear the melancholic tones and you can also hear the upbeat epic journey. It's all about the journey, and that's kind of what the song is. It just has its ups and downs, just like a real journey does. So it's really good at, at expressing how Final Fantasy III is. The, the calm before a storm and everything in between. That's why I really like it, but it isn't my favorite. There's one more song that takes the cake. And no, it's not Journey of Memory. If you guessed Final Fantasy main theme, Final Fantasy Record Keeper version arrangement, you are correct! Great job. I have said before in a previous video that it is my favorite song from Final Fantasy Record Keeper, and that is a true statement through and through. It just is so it's just so expressive and I feel like it doesn't really get used enough in Final Fantasy Record Keeper. Because 
it kind of feels like a grand, like, palace, like a ball. And the arc and the, um, the, the royal archives are kind of like this grandiose, large building. And it's supposed to hold all of history. And this kind of expresses that very well. And that's why I like it, because it doesn't have the same crystal music or, or the same, like, arpeggios as the other songs do, and it doesn't have the same, like, map theme or whatnot. It just is its own, and that's why I like it, because it just simply expresses how the game is. It kind of makes you feel excited about it, and that's why I really appreciate it, because it just really makes me happy, and it just gets me excited for it. Oh yeah, the Final Fantasy main theme, Final Fantasy Record Keeper version arrangement, is made by Yuko Komiyama. You're killing it, my man. So yeah, tell me, tell me what your favorite Final Fantasy Record Keeper songs are. I'll link both of the volumes of the playlists on Spotify in the description because you guys deserve awesome music too. Anyway, short video because I'm busy, school started and whatnot. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all later. Thank <laughs> you.